From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now, in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of the volcano of the sun. At the base of a giant crater in the dense jungle of South Africa was the village of Lutoko. From stories of their ancestors, the villagers knew well what disaster could strike if they angered their god, the great volcano of the sun. Targo, chief of the Lutokos, had sent two villagers to offer a sacrifice of wild animal skins to the hungry monster. After three days had passed without the return of their brothers, fear found the hearts of all in the village. The chief, with his beautiful daughter Kala by his side, spoke to the frightened villagers. My people, we have waited three suns for the return of our brothers. The voice of the mountain grows louder each day. Hold back your fears and pray to the great god of the sun, for we must not anger him. If Kordo and Sama do not return, we shall know that it is the will of the great rumbling god. Look! There he comes! It is Kordo! What is it, Kala? My eyes are no longer young. It is Kordo, my father. He comes down path from Rumbling Mountain. And Sama, what of him? Kordo carries him. He does not move. I... Speak, Kordo. Say what has happened to Sama. He, he is dead. Oh, no. Who did this? My eyes did not see. Sama and I were parted in darkness of mountain. I heard him cry out. This is how I found him, his life running from a wound in his side. And now he has gone to long sleep. We must learn who did this evil. Sama tried to speak on mountain. Did you hear his words? He said, get Tarzan. Tarzan, he, the lord of the jungle. His words were false. Tarzan has been our friend. It is hard to understand. Many things are hard to understand, but this I know. The people of Litoko do not question the words of a dying man. Tell our people to prepare. Make jungle talk. We must find Tarzan, and the lord of the jungle will pay for his crime with death. We will continue with Tarzan in just a moment. As in civilization, bad news travels fast in the Congo. Tarzan, deep in his jungle home, heard the drums and knew their meaning. The lord of the jungle was wanted for murder. With Chimbo, his faithful chimpanzee, by his side, Tarzan prepared for a journey to the village of Latoko. But the drums were not the only warning. Ganji, a native friend of Tarzan's, had also heard the message and had rushed to meet the bronzed white sun. Ganji! What brings you here, so far from your village? Great lord of jungle, you must flee. People of Latoko are hunt for you. They kill you. I know. I've heard the native drums. Then run. Do not let them find you. If you have killed native, as they say, I know it was for good reason. But Latoko people are angry. Will not listen to you. I did not kill the native, Ganji. I have no idea why they suspect me. I, I must go to Latoko and prove my innocence. I come long way to warn you, Tarzan. I have seen their anger, maddened faces. They will not believe you. You have long been my friend, Ganji. Yes, that is why I have come here. And you believe that I did not kill the native? Tarzan's word, always good. I believe you. Well, then you must know that I cannot let these people continue to think of me as a murderer. I must go to Latoko. But how can you convince them? They must think they have proof of your guilt. Whatever their proof is, I must learn the truth. Then there is nothing I can do to stop you. No, Ganji. I must face this alone and find the reason for the Latoko's anger with me. 
The jungle is my home, and I will never rest until I'm cleared. Then I wish you luck, Lord of Jungle. I will pray for your safety. Jimbo? Jimbo? Come, Jimbo! We go to Latoko. We must hurry! <laughs> Quickly. What is it, Kala? Tarzan, the lord of the jungle, walks into our village. Kordo, seize him. Bring him here to my hut. Father, does this not mean something to you? Tarzan's crime is great. He comes to give himself up to the vengeance of the great god. Who would a guilty man walk into our village? The lord of the jungle could not be a murderer. You listen to your heart, pretty one. I know your feelings for the bronzed white sun. Chief Togo, here's Tarzan. So, Tarzan, you come to pay for your crime. I... I know nothing of this murder. Sama was my friend. I believe your words, Tarzan. Thank you, Kala. But I fear your father does not hear the truth of those words. Oh, father, you must listen to Tarzan. He has done many good things for our people. What he has done for the people of Letoko is in the past. Now he has killed one of your brothers. His punishment must be strong. Is there not some way I can make you see your mistake, Chief Tago? I, I, I want to help you find Sama's killer. The Great Mountain has found the killer, Tarzan. The rumblings tell us. You believe that the volcano's action is caused by this murder? The mountain will be still when Sama's death is revenged. Father, you can't... Go, Kala. I will speak to Tarzan alone. But, Father... Obey me. Venda. Yes, Father. Kodo, bind Tarzan. Adio. Bind him tightly. The strength of the Lord of the Jungle is great. I offer no resistance, Chief Tago. I must convince you of my innocence. I, I was many miles away at the time of Sama's death. You travel swiftly, Tarzan. I know your ways. And you know my ways do not include murder. Sama's death has ended our friendship. I go now to prepare Tarzan's punishment. Our god is angry. Tarzan must be sacrificed. Then the great mountain will be silent. Kurdo will stand guard outside. Do not let Kala near Tarzan. Her heart will not let her head hear the truth. Nadio, my chief. Kurdo. Kurdo, you were with Sama. Surely you do not believe I killed him, do you? I believe what I hear. Sama spoke your name. Then even you will not listen. I listen only to rumblings of mountain. They alone tell me what must be done. Alone in the hut, bound and helpless, the lord of the jungle waited silently for his doom. Outside stood Kordo, his trained eyes alert. No human could gain access to Tarzan's prison. No human, but... Chimbo! Standing on the ledge of the window, outlined by the moonlight, was Chimbo, chattering excitedly. Enda, Chimbo. Saidia. Alaga, Watuli. Tarzan spoke to Chimbo in the strange language that he used with the beasts of the jungle. Perhaps Chimbo did not understand the words, but something, the tone perhaps, carried the idea that the lord of the jungle wished to convey. Chimbo hopped off the window ledge and disappeared into the darkness only to return moments later with Tarzan's request. A rock. Chimbo moved obediently behind Tarzan. The Lord of the Jungle worked swiftly, scraping his bonds on the jagged edge of the rock. The heavy rope gave way under the relentless force. Seconds later, the bonds snapped and Tarzan was free. Ah, Good, good, Chimbo. Now we shall leave the way you came, by the window. Be silent. We go to the volcano. Perhaps there we will find the answer to this mystery. Tarzan's escape aroused the village of Latoko. The angry natives crowded around Kurdo, who could not answer their questions about Tarzan's seemingly magical disappearance. He is gone. How he left, I do not know. Surely the lord of the jungle is possessed of many mysteries. His innocence has freed him. His escape has angered our god. We must pursue Tarzan. Tracks lead to the great mountain, Chief Tago. Then we shall follow his tracks. Come, my people. 
Bring fire to light the way. The Lord of the Jungle will not escape the vengeance of the Great Mountain. On the face of the giant crater, high above the village of Latoko, Tarzan's jungle-bred senses quickly picked up a clue to the mystery of Sama's death. He smelled the scent of white men. The Lord of the Jungle followed the white man's spoor around to the opposite side of the treacherous crater. Then, suddenly... Down, Jim! A tremendous explosion rocked the great mountain. Tarzan looked up to see a gaping crevice open in the side of the crater, blown out by the force of the explosion. Move quickly, Chimbo. We must find the white man. Before long, the whole mountain will spout forth death. Ahead of Tarzan, in a camp lit only by the light of a small fire, sat two men, Al Spencer and George Barton, silently eating the warmed contents of a tin can. Suddenly, and without a sound, the bronzed white son of the jungle was before them in the flickering light of the fire. Who who are you? I'm called Tarzan. What do you want with us? I will ask the questions. What do the white men want on the sacred mountain of Latoko? We, uh, we're hunters. Yeah, yeah, hunters. I see no skins drying at the fire. You eat from cans... Not as a hunter would do. Now look here. Whatever has brought you here, death will be your only reward on the mountain of Latoko this night. What do you mean? You'd do well to leave this mountain quickly. The volcano's given warning. What we do is our business. The jungle is my business, and what you do here concerns me. You will answer my questions. We'll answer nothing. What do you know of the murder of a native? Get out of here! Barton rushed at the lord of the jungle, lashing out with his fist. <laughs> As the two men met in combat, Spencer jumped on Tarzan's back, only to be rushed aside like an annoying insect. Spencer crashed to the ground. Alone, Barton was no match for the powerful Tarzan. The Lord of the Jungle grasped the white man in a vice-like grip. Spencer, behind the fighting men, picked up a heavy hunting rifle. Slowly, he moved toward them. Then Spencer swung the rifle in a vicious arc. Tarzan went down in an unconscious heap. I, I got him. He... He would have killed me. He's as strong as a bull. Uh, this rifle's stronger. Cuts these big guys down to size. I've heard of him, Spencer, but I thought it was just jungle talk. He's some kind of a legend. Uh, he don't look like a legend lying there in the ground. But what would he want with us? Uh, do you think he knows we killed that native? Uh, what could he know? Nobody could connect us with that. Suppose Tarzan's got some kind of proof. Wouldn't do him any good. What do you mean? He won't be bothering anyone for a long time. Uh, let's get out of here. Not till we get one more haul of diamonds out of that crater. Uh, are you crazy? You heard what he said. This whole mountain's going to blow its top. There's still a fortune in there. We're going to get it. Look. Look down there. That line of torches. The whole village is on the way up here. Let's get in that crater. We'll make a fast haul and get out the other side. They'll never follow us inside. What about Towson? Leave him here. You heard what he said about killing that native. They think he did it. Now, come on, let's go. Those natives will make short work of him. If this mountain don't get him first... We will continue with Tarzan in just a moment. Struck down on the face of the volcano, Tarzan lay motionless as the angry villagers of Latoko drew nearer. Chief Tago and Kurdo led the procession in pursuit of the Lord of the Jungle. Kala, the chief's lovely daughter, struggled valiantly to keep pace with the aroused men. Look! It is Tarzan! He is hurt! He has been struck down by the great mountain to await his punishment. Look! Look! He moves. He looks, but he does not speak. Tarzan! Oh, Father, his eyes speak his innocence. Be silent, Kala. He shall be sacrificed to the volcano of the sun. Rise, Tarzan. (laughs) He no longer even protests his innocence. Perhaps the flames of the volcano will bring back his tongue. This time, the lord of the jungle will have no chance for escape. Oh, Father. My people, our village shall be saved from a mighty anger. Come, we go to the mouth of the hungry mountain. Spencer, 
Spencer. Spencer, let's get out of here. We've got wealth enough to last us a lifetime. I want more. Keep digging. But the volcano, it's ready to blow. Shut up and dig. What? What was that? Sounded like a monkey. You're hearing things. I'm getting out of here. You couldn't find your way five feet without me. Now quit complaining and keep digging. I don't like it. No, but you'll like what these diamonds will buy once we get them out of here and back to civilization. If we get them out. What do you mean, if? I've come as close to death as I want to come. You'd feel the same if it'd been you, Tarzan, had a death grip on. Quit worrying about Tarzan. By now, those savages have killed him. What about this roaring volcano? The natives can't stop that from getting us. Uh, maybe you're right about that. Maybe nothing. Diamonds aren't going to do us any good if we're blown sky high. Okay. Grab this stuff and let's go. Come on, this way. Are you still silent, Tarzan? Though the boiling black lava below beckons? Oh, Father, I beg you. Our God commands us. Only Tarzan's death will appease his anger. Come forward, people of Latoko. Hurl the guilty one into the steaming depths below. What? What is this chimpanzee doing here? Chimbo. Enough of this. Wait. Wait. Look, look at the blue clay covering Chimbo. Can, can you not read its meaning? Blue clay means diamonds. And those shiny baubles have brought two white men to your sacred volcano. Though this be true, wait, I... Wait, wait, Chief Tago. The volcano is about to erupt. Only I can stop your god from spilling its molten death over your village. Only your death will save us. Wait! I will command the mountain to spread its destruction in another direction. Believe him, Father. Perhaps Tarzan speak truth. We must wait no longer. Tarzan must die. Great chief. Great chief. I... I will prove my innocence. Tarzan! Father! He runs into the sacred volcano! Stop him! His victory cry! Shall we hear it? He has entered the mouth of the mountain. Surely he has gone to his death. Inside the rumbling volcano, Tarzan ran with sure steps along the ledge of rock. Chimbo scampered in front of him, leading the Lord of the Jungle into the blackness. They reached the spot where Barton and Spencer had been digging. The white men were gone. They leave an easy trail, Chimbo. The strange companions raced together along the path left by the white men. Seconds later, Tarzan caught the glint of a rifle ahead on the narrow ledge. Easy. Easy, Chimbo. Yes, yes. They're just ahead. Who's there? You must pay for your crime, white men. It's Tarzan. Stay back, Tarzan. Come closer and I'll shoot. I do not fear your guns. Where is he? I can't see. A bullet will stop him. Hey! Uh, he, he's got a hold of me. One misstep and you're done. Shoot him, Bart. Shoot him. I can't see. Shoot, shoot. Spencer! He's gone to his death. Uh, uh, Tarzan! Uh, uh, give me that rifle! Uh, 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 now, you also will fall to the steaming earth below if you do not say who killed Sama! Tarzan! For the love of heaven, man! We've got to get out of here! Who killed Sama? The volcano! Idiot! You will answer or die! Spencer! Spencer did it! The savage found us on the mountain! You will confess to the people of Latoko? Yes, yes! Get, on, get me out of here! Follow me! Outside, on the edge of the crater, the people of Latoko stood in frightened silence as they suddenly saw the Lord of the Jungle emerge from the blackness of the crater. And with him, a white man. The torches of the villagers cast an eerie glow as Tarzan dragged his captive to Chief Tago. Tarzan, who is this? Speak, white man. We killed him, my partner and I. We killed the native. Chief, the volcano. Your people must flee, Chief Tago. My shame is great for the wrong I have done you, Tarzan. Surely the great god of the sun will punish me. You must hurry. Take the white man and flee swiftly to the other side of the mountain. The mountain will cover our village with death. Your village will be safe. The lord of the jungle has promised you that. Hello, Tarzan! Kala, where is Kala? She is not with me, I thought the she The mouth was... of the mountain. 
She went after Tarzan. My daughter, we cannot leave her. Lead your people to safety, Chief Tago. I will return for Kala. <gasps> the, the mountain shakes. You cannot go back in there. I must find Kala. Go! Go save your people. Kala! Kala! Kala, where are you? A violent explosion tore part of the ledge from under Tarzan's feet. His hand grasped quickly to the rocky wall. He clung precariously as he inched his way to solid footing. Kala! Here, Tarzan! Tarzan peered through the darkness and saw the frightened native girl. She stood on the ledge, her back pressed against the jagged rock. The rumblings of the volcano became more violent, threatening to shake her off the ledge to a boiling death below. Hold on, Kala! Tarzan reached the girl, grabbed her, and threw her over his powerful shoulders. The ledge behind them was gone. With Kala clinging to him, the lord of the jungle, hand over hand, scaled the inside rim of the crater and made his way to the top. On the face of the crater, Tarzan and Kala dashed in the direction of the village. The mountain seemed ablaze. Rocks fell around them. Tarzan pushed Kala to the ground and shielded her with his own body. Then, when the rocks stopped falling, they raced after Chief Tago and the villagers of Latoko. Look! The Lord of the Jungle has saved Kala! Quickly! Quickly to the village! All of you! You'll be safe there. Come, my people. We will trust Tarzan for this miracle. Where is the white man, Barton? Death fell on him from the mountain. The, the rocks? Yes. The volcano of the sun has had its vengeance. Tarzan and the natives turned to see the night sky filled with glowing death. Molten lava poured from the mountain, but its path was not toward the village of Latoko. The lava cascaded down the opposite side through the gigantic crevice. Oh, oh, the the howling death goes away from our village. The Lord of the Jungle commanded. The volcano of the sun obeyed. Let us return to Latoko. Peace has come once again to the village of Litoko, Tarzan. Can you forgive me for not knowing the truth? Chief Tago, when the reason is just, Tarzan forgives easily. <laughs> what of my feelings now, Father? Your heart, Kala, spoke the truth. But why did Sama utter the dying words, Get Tarzan? Well, they were not meant the way they were taken. Perhaps he was crazy with fever and pain. No, no, no. Sama meant to get me to help, not for murder. He saved my life once long ago, and I had told him if he ever needed help to call upon me. His call was well answered, Lord of the Jungle. I must go now. I've been absent too long from my jungle home. <laughs> you see, Chimbo is also anxious to go. I will walk with Tarzan to the edge of the clearing. Goodbye, Chief Tago. Goodbye, Tarzan. Kala will miss you, Lord of the Jungle. And I will miss you too, Kala. Tarzan... Yes, pretty one? What magic did you use to make the great mountain spill its death away from our village? Oh, that was not my doing, Kala. But you said... I said only what I already knew. The volcano had split a crevice in the side of the mountain. The lava had to go that way, and your village was on the opposite side. Then you knew. <laughs> yes, pretty one. And now, farewell. Goodbye, Lord of the Jungle. We'll return in just a moment to tell you about next week's Tarzan adventure. Somewhere over the upper Congo, a parachute burst down into the jungle. Suddenly, Tarzan's peaceful world became a world of violence and treachery, involving a theft of diamonds and a murder from which, for Tarzan, there seemed no escape. Listen to this strange adventure when Tarzan finds himself trapped in the jungle smoke. Heard in our cast were Jack Moyles, Elizabeth Root, Frank Gerstel, and Jan Arvin. 
Tarzan, a transcribed creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced by Walter White, Jr. Volcano of the Sun was prepared for radio by Robert Schaefer and Eric Freewald, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. Listen to our next story, Jungle Smoke, another thrilling episode of The Lord of the Jungle. 